Welcome back. Today we're fixing the mixer. We cleaned all the parts first in the parts washer, then in the dishwasher because these parts are all exposed to the food. So we gave them a good clean. That one as well. So that's all clean now. No more gunk inside, only a little bit. First we need to fit our new gear. The shaft goes this way, the gear goes on, on this way. Um, it comes with two washers, one on each side. Um, it's a good idea to replace them. Even the old ones look good, they might be thinner. To get this shaft out, it's just pinned with a with a roll pin here. And uh, pretty simple actually. And so yeah, put it back together. I use food grease, well it's food safe grease, it's white. Don't know what it's based, I have no idea, probably Teflon or so. Um, before we put the shaft in, just put a bit of grease on it, just to make sure everything is a bit greasy. Same with the washers, then stick one washer on. Hopefully that's fairly visible. And then get the gear in. Second washer, bit of grease. And that's a bit fiddly because you're gonna fill that uh, washer in the right place. I need to change my glasses, I can't see that. So now we get the reading glasses. Hopefully, we can see that a little bit better. It's basically just sliding that thing in and it up there you go so and then the we need to find the hole in the shaft sorry I'm looking at the light source here and just try to find where the hole is here it is if you look through and just look where the light is you might be able to get it there and uh, it's just a, a knurled pin, so we just hammer it in basically. Um, driver, because we don't want to damage our new gear. was flush on one side it sits quite quite tight actually um, it was flush on one side so we got it now we got it okay on both so now we got a new gear which sits uh, somewhere here somehow this way that's how it sits and that's meshing with this one so we need to grease that shaft there is a little bit of wear on the shaft, but uh, it's not not really critical, I would say. We need to understand where this washer was gone. We got a bunch of washers here. Make sure it's clean. Don't put any. Um, any grit or whatever in there. The, the big gear has to go in first otherwise you're not you're not gonna be able to put it in later. The 
because there's a, an o-ring here which basically stops the grease from coming out from the from the cup here this sits underneath and that o-ring seals here so the grease of the whole thing doesn't come out so if we've done everything right we should be fine so, uh, it was clean now it's not clean anymore because I've got dirty fingers anyway we give that a, a wash anyway it's just that uh, that grease is very very sticky I think it's it smells like hand cream <laughs> um, we need something underneath I guess this goes here now somehow this way and uh, before we put it together we put some grease on the on the gears it's not super clean because uh, I washed it but at least the at least all the parts from the old gear are out what I usually do all these location pins I just put a bit of grease on it because that prevents it from rusting you can see they are slightly rusty from the dishwasher because everything was in a dishwasher so now we need to get the bolts the bolts are all imperial so if you lose one just think about it's not metric before you tighten it up set the three bolts gently and then make sure everything turns nice and freely which which it does and then just tighten them up they got lock washers on it underneath They got lock washers underneath, make sure you have them because if the bolt comes out and ends up in the gear, you got a little bit of a problem. So this turns nice and freely, that's fine. So that means this part is now assembled. Uh, we need to put the electrics back on. So the gear can't come out anymore. There is that bevel gear, this one, which is the front drive for the accessories. Before you put it back together, make sure it's all clean and no leftovers from the broken gear are actually in your grease here. We cleaned that out quite well, but uh, just give it another look at just to make sure. We're not creating a problem here. So what we do we clean that out. Everything looks good inside. Okay. Um, before we put it back together, this needs to be filled with grease. I think it's a hundred something grams. Uh, I don't exactly know the amount. I need to check that. We need to put the electrics back together, which is this. I cleaned it a little bit, but uh, I'll do with another. let me clean that and we'll come back. So we put some grease in and I don't know exactly what the amount is, but I think it was about 140 grams or so. The gasket goes, or this gasket goes with the writing down. There is a, is an edge here that goes on this side. Um, yeah, we got some grease here. Everything is greased up. I think it's fine. We put the electric board back. It's a bit weird. It's actually held with just one screw here. Don't forget the ground. Make sure you're not kinking any wires, and then. Just put it back. If 
we locate the the shaft first and before you put it down put two screws in the gears it's relatively straightforward all you need to make sure you're not damaging the gasket I think stupid me I could have done the gasket on the other side because then it will locate on the pins there's one pin here there's only one yeah, there's only one location pin this one here um, same here just give the location pin a bit of grease also the gasket it's greasy already so it don't really need to grease it all right so screw in here and then give it another try sorry that might not be visible but uh, I'm more interested to get the mixer right turn the shaft a little bit to get it meshing here. There we go. Just wiggle the the shaft a little bit to make sure it sits it sits down. There are some location pins here as well. Make sure the wires are clean. And uh, looks good so far. I'm tempted to give it a spin. That's probably what we do. Bear with me, I never done one of those, so or it's off. gears to mesh and apparently they don't so all we're trying is <coughs> here we go you see that it was spinning and then it was going inside don't forget to pull the plug again because if you if you go with force you're gonna kill your plastic gear again which you don't really want set that one screw here and same as before just gently tighten them up a little bit in the first video I didn't show these I forgot about it so don't tighten it fully just set it gently and we put the real ones in There is no washers under those. These are the long ones. It's a pretty simple design, so if you're taking it apart on your own, you should be able to get it back together on your own as well. Because no rocket science in it. I'm going to tighten those fully and I'll tighten the front one fully. Make sure it's set. Before we go further, we check if this is still wiggling and it does. So we, we don't have we don't put any pressure on the on the whole gear train. So now I'm going to tighten those up. They gotta be fairly tight because you want this gasket to seal, otherwise the, the grease is coming out here. 
so we need to find the other ones I think they were a bit yeah I need to wash these screws because they are full of whatever you don't want to know what it is so we clean the screws because they are directly exposed to whatever comes off your bowl of your mixing bowl and uh, so it's a good idea to clean them every now and then because when I got the mixer it was full of these screws are full of gunk. I, I couldn't even find the slot. There's no washers underneath. Uh, just tighten them fairly tight. And good idea to check them every now and then. Make sure they're not ending up in your food. All right. <coughs> so now we got the the motor hat complete. What we need to do is fitting the um, fitting the eccentric here. That's actually pretty simple. Okay, we greased it up. Um, it's about the same amount as we had before, or as we've seen before. This thing got a location pin here. So all you need to do is actually putting that down and find the pin. It goes a bit hard because there is a um, same here. You need to mesh the gears, and then there is a, an O-ring. Give it this. Okay, pin. Same here, that's just a neural pin which goes in somehow. Come on. Here you go. And then just punch it in. It's flush. Go a little bit more. Ideally, use a drift, but I don't have one on the hand at the moment, so clean off the excess uh, the excess grease. Nothing is binding. You can feel the play in the gears, so that's all good. So now there is a a chrome ring going on it. To find that. Freshly cleaned from the dishwasher. Obviously, use something soft when you push it on. necessarily a big hammer because you may damage it. It's just a soft with fit basically. So. Okay. That's uh, that's this end. Let's fire it up and see what it does. Oh, I think we need something in need here. Always be careful, there is power on the back, do not touch it, and um, if you don't know what you're doing, just don't do it. <laughs> Looks good to me, so let's put it back together. So we're going to fit the head. This was all in the dishwasher. Uh, it cleaned up quite nicely. What we're going to do is uh, just put a little bit of grease on this 
location pins here makes them easier to get out if required also on the lift mechanism it's good to do put a little bit of grease on i've noticed that the the plastic part which is the lifter um, is a bit worn but it still works okay so uh, that may need replacing it's probably a penny part but at least we greased it okay so we greased the uh, location pins so let's put the head back on make sure the power is off or unplugged otherwise you electrocute yourself so and then just dump the head on clean the screws because they're really dirty usually especially the front ones and uh, the, the pins are quite tight so it holds itself um, the head needs a bit of clean it's dirty at the moment because um, you can't put it in the parts washer or uh, in the dishwasher because there's a motor inside okay let me fix those bolts that's boring uh, it's a bit tedious to get there you need a very big Phillips screwdriver to do that we'll come back when we're done so we got it all back together you need about that size that's actually too small there is no washers underneath but the bolts got some serrations so they they go really tight at the end uh, last thing is put the back cover back on I give I gave that a bit of a clean it was full of dust uh, the cover itself actually was in a dishwasher so this this label goes on here make sure it's a bit curved outwards like like so and then it just goes on here and it's held with two screws at the back so just these little screws holding that they do nothing else they just hold that plate getting a bit dark now I know hopefully it's visible what I'm doing here and uh, then make sure everything looks okay take your back cover that was in the dishwasher as well apparently there's some scuffs on it and that hooks in there is the two hooks here it hooks in at the bottom and then just push it on make sure you don't touch anything uh, put a screw in and we're done if you need to check the brushes they are on the side here there's one here and one on the other side unfortunately that's a mark here nothing I can do um, yeah it needs a, the head needs a bit proper clean Anyway, that's it so far. Get some whisker. Put it on, turn the power on, and pray. <laughs> Looks good to me. Oh, we forgot one, which is that thingy at the front it just slides in and uh, it's helped with that screw here that's the accessory port where you can put your pasta maker and things like that on it so to get the bowl on the bowl in push it down and there you go not touching so. if the 
if the whisker is touching you can set the bowl height there's a screw a set screw here which sets the bowl height correctly there is it's just about touching so if it's touching it's too close but that being at full speed it looks alright all right that's it so far from the KitchenAid mixer. We got a working mixer and the Happy Bunny. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time. And that's how it's mixing the cake for this afternoon.